What is up guys, my name is Voyatron, and I am here today with another sporadic mod showcase. Now, the mod I want to go over today is called the IBE Editor, or the Infinity Editor for short. Now what this mod does is let you bring up this fancy menu, and what it basically does, you can edit any entity item block you want. So for example, I can make myself glowing, apply, and look at that. I'm glowing and I could turn it off. The button by default is I. Now I'm done glowing. You could of course change that button right here. And yeah, now let's go into some of the fancier stuff that I actually give a shit about. So I could say you could edit blocks. If you press I on the block, I could edit the properties. Snowy, apply, done. Now it's snowy. I will say you can do this with the debug stick just as easily. I already went over this on my channel, but to get the debug stick, you do give your name D, not dead bush, bug stick. And here's how you get a debug stick. That's not the point of this video. Because we're not going to go over the block stuff, because you could do that with a debug stick. Not important. I want to talk about stuff you could do with items. Now, we'll take this thick potion. We'll press I to edit it. Now, what could we do with any regular item? We can change its color. If it was an uh, actual effect potion, let me grab that to show you. So let's take like a, uh, what do we got here? A regen potion, that'll work just as good. As you can see, it's changing color. We can make it look however we want it to look. Let's give it 100, 100. That number, and see, gives us all kinds of colors. We can make the coolest potion, uh, put in the funny haha -ha numbers. 420 doesn't fit, how unfortunate. Yeah, so, there we go. This is the haha -ha potion. Uh, but what we could also do is give it enchants, but we'll go talk about that later when we get to a sword or something. But the part of reason we're using a potion in general is because you could do this. Yep, you can stack on stackable items, which is really cool. I got a stack of potions, which is neat. But the thing about this, something else you can do, you thought 64 was the maximum? Stack is 65. Check that out. Next up, I'll show you all the funky stuff you can do with swords. So I got two swords, gold and netherite. Say I want to use the golden sword instead, because I prefer gold, because I watched a specific YouTuber from about 2009 who liked gold a lot. So you can check the damage here, eight, press I, make it unbreakable. So it's not gonna break in three hits like gold swords do. You could go to this and change this damage from three to eight. And you could also rename it if you so desire. Hit apply and boom, look at that plus eight attack damage. So this is as good as another right sword now. And instead of looking like the enchanted stone, it's fun gold. Now say you don't like the 1.12 PVP as well, which let's be honest, who, who does? Just offended somebody. What you can do is go here. Go where it says attack speed and put that to like, I don't know, 10, apply. And then you'll have attack speed. And see, the PvP timer is almost off. You can swing it like it's one, um, 1 1.8 PvP. So that is pretty awesome. Now, it's going to be a short video. The last thing I'm going to talk about is how to get things from commands. Take a crazy item like Machine Bow with on legit enchants. You can hit I, go to tools, slash give with the uh, formatting. Then it's copied to your clipboard. You don't even have to apply. Get it control V. And you can't do it because it's a crazy command. But then command blocks, you can do it. You can type it in. Boom. So if you get an item in your hand and you want to get it as a command, this mod um, lets you do that. So I'm recording this part in post-production because I forgot to talk about enchants, even though I said I would. So I'll just get a, a few funky items. Um, yeah. Um, how about a cooked pork chop? That's fun. So <laughs> you press I, you go to enchantments. And all the ones that can be um, uh, legitly applied to the um, item are green. 
so I can give it like the best enchant in the game. Where is it? Band of Arthropods. Usually it goes up to five if I'm correct. Apply, ba-boom. But I can also do the funky thing. Let's give it 10. But what if you really don't like spiders? You got a spider infestation, you live in Australia. Just 10 ain't enough. Uh, you can go all the way up to 255 if I am correct. And there we go. It's a high enchant. And I just remembered 255 isn't the limit for enchants, that's the limit for potions. We can go even higher. You get the gist. Let's see how high we can really go. A thousand. There we go. So, say you see a spider. And then just... Now, of course, you can also give it an enchant it can't realistically have. Like, I don't know. Frostwalker. And there we go. <laughs> and yeah, same thing for um, armor pieces. You can give it some nice protection. Some nice on breaking. And yeah, here's a fun little uh, item. And say you don't want to use a sword, you don't want to use an axe, you just can't find the weapon for you. What you can do is go in here, look for sharpness. Let's see, let's give it sharpness 10. And boom, you got a, your weapon of choice. If you're just a cooked pork chop type of guy. You can also use the mod to make this item, which you unfortunately can no longer get in the game. Which is sad, but yeah, if you miss your Infinity Mending Bow, this is the mod for you. Now I just showed you the very, very surface level of this mod. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand every bit of it. It seems very cody. You'd have to be smarter than me to get it. So maybe you guys can uh, explore it a bit better than I can. But what I'm using it for, I enjoy making my crazy swords, my cool items and stuff. So yeah, of course, for the second time, the Download will be in the description. Hope you give it a shot. One of my favorite mods I found in the recent months. And yeah, outros are hard. This video was a mess, wasn't it?